family, yeah, you know who it is. I'm out here in uh, Dar es Salaam chilling with my boy. He's just giving me some history on Tanzanian culture, you know, like before colonialism and stuff like that. Because these are stories we need to know, especially and then how things are now and just everything in between, you know what I mean? Hold on. Yeah, so family, can you please introduce yourself? Yo, my name is Noah Kamakuza. That's my real name. Okay. And you from uh, this beautiful country, Tanzania? Absolutely, I'm from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Okay, nice, man. Yeah, man, so you just give me a lot of knowledge, man. Like, a lot of people want to know, like, what's the history of Tanzania, you know, before, like, colonialism and stuff like that? Because we hear a lot about, you know, like, the Arab slave trade and stuff like that. But we never hear nothing real, like, what about before that? Like, what happened before all that? Because I know Tanzania got a rich culture and history. Absolutely. And a lot of people want to know. Yeah. Absolutely. So basically, um, <clears throat> as far as the <clears throat> architecture of own history is concerned, like, there are two parts to the occurrence of this history. The first part is what the colonialists gave to us. The sort of curriculum that we study till today. So with this sort of colonial education, what came out of it is that our Africans are still inferior in terms of their practices, in terms of their thinking, in terms of their approaches to life. Yeah. In terms of their philosophy, Africans are considered to never have any sort of philosophy. Uh -huh. Because even before that, when the missionaries came in, there was a person called um, who, a missionary called Herodotus who dealt with a certain tribe in Congo. So he wrote an account of the practices of the people of the Congo. So when he sent it to the peoples of Europe or the scholars of Europe, mostly philosophers, they came to a generalization that Africans does not have a philosophy. They do not have a, a systematic thinking pattern that involves science in its approach. They do not have any sense of knowledge even of God and religion. So there are some scholars who are studying uh, in Europe during that time. When they heard this, like, whatever assertion this guy was saying, like, Africans are not a philosophy, they found it as their mission to come up with something that Sharifu displays and say, no, Africans have so and so and so. Africans have a philosophy. Africans have done so and so and so in terms of achievement, in terms of mathematics, in terms of arithmetic, and all that. So, what this movement did, it started painting in terms of African achievement. Like, the first link up with this achievement came as far as uh, Egypt itself, called Kemet. Kemet is because the land of black people. Like, whatever Kemet has achieved, whatever Egypt has achieved, is supposed to be a degraded civilization. So, currently, when you ask some people to tell you about Egypt, all they think about is Arabs. All they saw there is Arabs. But, if we study uh, everything as, as far as Arab is concerned, if they are the architecture of the civilization in Egypt, then we have to go to Arabia. So when we go to Arabia, we don't see any substantial evidence or any sort of uh, any sort of existence of maybe pyramids. We only found pyramids in Nubia. So what does it mean? The people who are exhibiting in Nubia, Nubia, which is Sudan now, are black people. So it means the entire civilization that Egypt harbors or is offered to the world that is a degraded civilization. It's a civilization of black people. Even the great um, library that existed like Alexandria is supposed to just be like part of the collections of the achievement of black people. Mm. So as far as magnitude was concerned, it had, it had a mission. A mission is just to educate us, people of African descent, wherever we are, that we are much bigger than the world has make us seem to be. Mm. We've been bombarded by these Eurocentric cultures and ideas that tell us a European idea is the grand idea. Mm. Any other idea is nothing. So it's like Africans as a mission themselves to pick up the part of history that has been laid down by all these process of slavery and colonialism and claim their own history and live to the fullest potential of their history as kings and queens. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. So, what was Tanzania like before colonialism? Oh, Tanzania before colonialism? It's like we have chiefdoms. Okay. We have a lot of different chiefdoms. Some divided according to the regional compass. Mm. And in each chiefdom, there are some chiefs. The chiefs were the rulers, wow. and there was some distribution of uh, labor classes in terms of age groups, in terms of sex. Mm -hmm. Like 
females had their balls and children had their balls and the youth had their roles too. The youth had their role too. So even in terms of uh, <clears throat> the major means of production during that time was agriculture and hunting and uh, agriculture and animal keeping, animal mm -hmm. husbandry. Okay. So most of the youth were concerned with animal husbandry. The women were concerned most of them domesticating things and taking care of families. And the elderly were concerned with just decision making as far as maybe we, there is some sort of dispute in communities and make sure there's communities in alignment. Mm -hmm. So when you read Shekhan Tedio, he points something which is very crucial. Like as far as religion is concerned, since everybody abided by the terms or norms of the community, so African institutions were like a religion in themselves. African institutions were like a religion in themselves because every member of the community, every member of the society, abide by the terms and conditions of what the community wants. Because if you don't follow what, whatever requirement the community or standards has set upon you, you face the danger of being excommunicated. And nobody was just ready to, to face that. So Africans really had their own means, really had their own practices that they never require any sort of religion or European notion of religion to make them believe as holy because whatever they were practicing at the time were part and parcel of the religion. So the notion of guilt never existed. The notion of sin never existed because every person follow what the community requires, the community standards, the traditions, the taboos, everybody was in alignment. That's facts, man. That's some good information, man. Yeah. So what's going on now with Tanzania, man? What's the vibe here now? The vibe here now, basically, um, we have our uh, successive governments. Because our governments now, after mm -hmm. independence, our governments are the architecture of just our mode of life living, based on the political philosophy and the political ideology that's in place. Our major party in Tanzania is CCM, Chama Chama Pinduzi. Yeah. And Chama Chama Pinduzi is a socialist party. Or it was enacted through socialist means or regimes, as was pointed out by Franz Fanon when he wrote uh, The Wretched of the Earth. Yeah. When Fanon wrote The Wretched of the Earth, it was like a, 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 a Bible for every revolutionary, even during the Black Panther time. Mm -hmm. It was something what is mandatory to be read by all the members of the Panther. Same mm -hmm. as here in Africa during the liberation struggle. Fanon's Russian of the Earth was fundamental. So when he wrote the Russian of the Earth, he pointed out that the only political philosophy that Africans need to follow or African institutions need to follow mm -hmm. is a socialist mode of governance. Okay. So that's what started in the 1960s with Nyerere. Yeah. He enacted the socialism. Mm -hmm. And the, the only thing that he did good, he enacted his own form of socialism, mm -hmm. typically away from that one of China. Yeah. So even Kwame Nkrumah did the same socialism due to some constraints here and there, sanctions from the IMF and the international community. They were never, they were, they were never able to become successful. They did, they did not become successful with this sort of ideology. So by 1985, under the reform from the IMF, a change in ideology was necessary. So they needed to step down. They come in another person to allow liberalization to occur. So it started slowly in enacting these structural changes, policy changes, even ideological changes. But the party remained still remained with his own ideological mantra of socialism. So by 1995, we went to a multi party democratic process. Mm -hmm. And some other party was allowed to come in with just a lot of different, uh, which offer a lot of different ideologies and philosophies. Mm -hmm. And CCM still won by majority. It is so till today. Uh, by 1995, that when we started the so called imperialism came in. Okay. But it's not imperialism per se. What do you call it? Um, sorry, just a minute, let me think. What is it? Oh, that's you. It's not imperialism, what is it? It's um, Tandawazi, what do you call it? This technology and everything, what do they call it? As a term, they call it, what is it? Is it like colonization? It's not colonization, it's like uh, capitalism. Mm -hmm. There's imperialism within it. 
Imperialism is the highest stage of capitalism. And um, within it, Utandawazi, 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 King in the building family. Yeah, Utandawazi, 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 We can check, bro. We have a Google here. We have a Google. Building foundations. Yeah. We got the pet praying man in the building. Yeah. Yo, so what's good, Zola man? Yeah, what's, bro. What's up? Cool, bro. Yeah. We're good. We keep on the back to the gym. Uh -huh. and very, very soon, maybe we're gonna launch, but still, we're starting training. Yeah. So, welcome, Karibu Sana. Yeah. Join to the movement, boot mm -hmm. weight, weight workout. <laughs> <laughs> We're really? training a hard one per day. We do 3,000 push up, 4,000 push up. Ooh. It's normal. So yeah, they be training hard, fam. Training hard. For bro. real. When I came in here, he was oh. fighting three people. <laughs> you know, at one we're, time. We're, I'm like, wait, you're going to be tomorrow. We're going to start to push you. <laughs> in the force. <laughs> Our black family is supposed to be strong. In yeah. the force, we're going to train you. Yeah. Yes. Yo, it's the fight. And then my brother Sam here. Yes. 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 <laughs> Together the movement. That's right. Yes. Forever. Boom. Forever. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So look, I'm gonna say something and tell me the first thing you think of. Yeah. Health. Yeah. Yeah. Health. health. Um. You know, health is everything. So okay. Without yeah. health, we can't reach our goal. Ah. It's mean, if you if you you are building a house now. Oh, you're buying an expensive car. Yeah. I can tell you something. Just money you can build in your health. You can, I mean, you can spend just money to make health for your body. And yeah. This is very, very important to your really? life because without health, you can't do anything. Anything. Health yeah. is well. Health is well. Definitely. That's right. Health is well. Yeah. That's so right. training is everything. Then the time you are fit, then you can reach, you can attack everything you want. You can attack yeah. cars, house, everything wide, beautiful wide, everything. <laughs> if you are healthy, if you don't, if you are not, you are not healthy. The woman is gonna learn. Yeah. Car is gonna learn. Money is gonna learn. You're gonna suffer. You're gonna complain every day. Why? 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 I'm not lucky. It's not about to lucky. It's about yeah. your health and training hard. No yeah. day off. No pain. No gain. No pain. No future. No future, family. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I you got Tyler respect. Jewel in the building. <laughs> yeah. Greetings to all. We're here in the Hunde gym. That's right. Keep him fit. Uh, Hunde, Hunde. That's right. Hey, Mind, body, okay, and soul, okay, you know. Future. <laughs> Family. Family. That's right. Yes, Dude, these cats work down hard, family. Uh, yeah, we try. We try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. This is my brothers. No pain, no gain, no master pain, no future. No future, master future master family. Master yeah. Real master teacher. Yeah. No day off. Yeah, man. You see my family towel, I have not lost the head. I'm coming, I'm coming slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Coming, yeah. Personal uh, shaver, yeah. The box is coming, the chest. That's right. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is strong. Look at that. 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 Look at <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, bro. yo, they be getting it in. Yeah. So y'all train every day? Every day, bro. Yes. Yeah. Every day. And they are going morning day. to do 100 push-up, evening again 100 push-up, but we'll do bodyweight workouts. Okay. Yes, yes bodyweight workout after bodyweight, then you do some brother has dumbbell, but our goal is bodyweight because it's healthy. Uh. So we focus about healthy. Healthy is everything. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't be like, to come with big for nothing. We mm -hmm. come strong and big. Then they hurt. Yeah. <laughs> and we eat natural, eat natural foods. Like the brothers, they don't touch meat. No, they don't oh, touch yeah. animals. Yeah, it's animals are supposed to live too. Back on the yeah. iPad. For real? Yes. 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 Dang, yes. so you know how to build muscle and eat like... Natural no, flow, no vitamin, no steroids. Just Dang. natural workout, natural training, the natural foods. Oh, no excuse. Man. The problem with a lot of people, they're lazy as you're not lazy. We okay. train every day because we know if we thought healthy, nothing. Yeah. If we thought healthy, not us, no Africa. Us, we are Africans. So we need to be, yeah, we need to be fit and strong. 
facts. Yes. That's yes. facts, man. Yes. You gotta be ready out here. Brothers, you know? I have to tell another brother around the world, all black people need to be training every time. You know, if you train, if you train your body and your mind, you'll be fit yeah. all the times. So you don't worry, no fear. Mm -hmm. And you need to come home, you need to come to Africa. Yeah. See, we have brothers here from different countries, but now, yeah. Home, That's Africa, right. Tanzania, paradise. Yeah. Yeah. paradise. Yeah. 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 Appreciate it, fam. Appreciate it. Yeah. 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 yeah.